Magnus Bestes here and this is gonna be one of my best videos so far I believe because it's gonna be a little bit more insight uh, into the way how I think very important stuff that I really believe it's uh, crucial for you for your success in general in life and trading is no exception and I've already recorded three videos similar like this um, the name actually of these kind of videos is uh, the secret to million dollars you can check out i actually uh, <laughs> highly encourage you to check out first my uh three videos before this one uh in every single one of them i talk about uh one specific secret to um to one million dollar i try to make it uh according to the importance but of course actually all these individual areas of your of your life or of your characteristics are equally important so i wouldn't really write them like the first one is more than the other so here we are continuing and as you as i already mentioned many times throughout the year uh, i like to take some time to do these uh, videos i like quality over quantity and I want to have like the good feeling in general um, I like the summer months you know free time actually I have all the time free time but basically it's just you know shiny summer time and it just uh, screams for freedom and nice holiday times vacation times for most people so that's why I just feel like this as well let's start so what is the secret what's the fourth secret to one million dollar guys let me just get to on the track pretty quickly let's go four number four let's go and i chose on purpose this 3d paint uh program paint 3d because we are going to go into a nice depth of the situation so the secret to one million dollar number four and actually, actually let me also write num uh, let's see secret first we need to have the word secret of course secret okay let's do it we need it first wait 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 stay with me guys stay with me how do i nope select yes this is it select secret now we need to write secret secret number four yes guys two one million dollars let's make it complete one million needs to be golden let's find some darker gold let's go so guys as i told you really all my videos actually i uh, dedicate a lot of energy into every single one of them so don't skip don't skip any minute or even second guys because you can miss out on some inform important uh thing that i want to share with you important thing that can help you make progress in your life in your in success in not only trading not only trading but actually in every single area so let's go secret number four to one to one million dollars guys so what it is i actually would like to see your comments let me know in the comments what you actually thought is gonna be number four maybe from by looking uh, by watching my videos over the year you probably could have guessed the number four i believe i mentioned it like almost or you can actually just understand from my speaking uh what i consider very important and this is really no surprise a lot of people talk about it but uh yeah so it's not not a, something new but i think i can explain even deeper than other people most people don't even go to the to these uh deep deep things around uh the secret number four and let's just go straight into it 
secret uh, let me i don't know oh yeah i'm gonna re erase it whatever so what's the secret to one million dollar num dollars number four that is in my opinion and first you know think about it what you what you think is gonna be number four write to the comments right now and the big reveal it is focus it is focus guys the secret number four is focus and let's just start talking about why and what i really actually mean by focus uh and why especially why i think it's so important and i uh, i believe after finishing what of watching this video i believe a lot of you guys are gonna be looking at this really differently and are going to be doing some changes in your life this is what i personally believe this is actually a great program look you can do a lot of i even i didn't know we have like in windows such a easy uh basic program oh what what did i do okay no it's not okay yeah very easy to okay let's go let's keep things straight to the point focus so actually i i think it's really just the basic logic but sometimes and unfortunately even most of the times basic logic or common sense is not very common anymore so i'm gonna uh real quick do the uh i'm gonna remind you guys of the basic sense uh, common sense basic logic what i like to call it so if you have for example but i will try to do it from more angles so you really get a good grasp grasp of my um idea here so focus let's say let's imagine you know lights beams of lights let's go let's, let's do it like this color let's choose it yellowish okay this is like our beam of light let's just turn it and let's imagine that you know guys uh this is or one of your business let's say let's go straight to the point a lot of people have a lot of businesses or a lot of ideas and i think this is a good idea to just you know <laughs> have five ideas in progress work on five ideas five businesses and i'm gonna just prove you wrong you know they call it diversification diversify their investments or their you know their um efforts so if one business if one business idea doesn't work out they think like oh, okay or investment and at least the other one will and this is actually wrong you should or you don't should you shouldn't put all your, all your eggs into one basket actually these these things are like half truth they have their place but uh you should first uh focus on <laughs> you should first focus on one thing you know so this is i'm gonna try to explain you why uh it's uh, more important than diversification uh at the start especially i'm gonna show you exactly why uh uh you should start uh, at the start you should just focus on one thing and then you can diversify and why it makes sense so let's say this is one business idea let's copy that and let's okay i didn't what oh let's put it back i want to copy this wait okay this is and now so let's say we have uh, let's say we have uh, okay this program is not so and let's copy that as well three i want three we have three business ideas and now uh actually i got a, a little bit ahead of myself first i want to show you why it's important to uh, focus on one thing so this is basically one business okay uh, like uh, you will understand what i mean so this is the light uh, rate of ray of light but it's already focused but let's say we have rays of light and uh, let's do it like this one ray second ray no second when it's okay second ray of light here and let's say we have uh, 
third layer, array of light. And here, every single one of these arrays, it just makes one, you know, one something here, some one change in the world here, then another change uh, here. And then something here. But it's like three different things, you know? And now imagine somebody who does just one thing. Everything of his effort, effort, all his efforts go to one place. So where do you think is gonna be a bigger effect or more chance of a success? If you if you divide your time, effort, money, opportunities into three things, or if you just focus on one thing. If you take uh, the light rate here, you just shine some. You it just you know shine out this area, and it's just a little bit you know more visible. But if you take the light rays and you focus them on one little dot, it actually becomes a laser. So focused uh, light rays become a very focused light ray that is a laser, and that actually goes through even very hard materials depending on the frequencies and uh, intensity and power of the laser you can imagine how different it is if you just focus on one tiny and the tinier it is the more powerful you also know how the physics work like the pressure pointed uh, to a very small square area is a lot more powerful than if you just divide it on a larger area this is basic simple logic simple things and now let's go and uh, or, so once we all understand that we need to focus our light rays our energy to one area in this so become we become like a laser with our efforts now we for example uh, now we are like this disciplined person people we are focusing uh, a lot on one area but then sometime we just go and we want to have like three businesses and this is also wrong because we could actually just take the energy that we uh, dedicate to all the individual businesses and we can just you know we, we could just have this energy even for okay that was hiding oh okay i copied it more times no problem this is even better do you now you get my point these all these businesses one two three four five businesses you could just you could just have one business you could just have one business and you can imagine how much more powerful how much even more powerful uh the the result the all everything about it would be in comparison to five businesses so even though you are like very focused in every single business you can be like working every day the whole day still you have five businesses and there is always and actually you know i i heard like in china there's a lot of people like this like by nature they basically just start do something and they just do one thing they just do one thing and they do it very well and this is your competition guys so basically let's imagine some really focused entrepreneur and look at this basically he he uses just he just does one thing and all his efforts time energy you are you have everybody has just 24 hours per day and you know uh some some money you can spend some budget some free time some you know some will you know there's a lot of things in life and you cannot waste it or, or diversify if you wanna be, be better than this guy if you wanna be a competition to this guy who focuses the whole energy to everything that i mentioned to one point one business if you wanna be a competition to him you cannot do this uh, more businesses you cannot be this guy you need to be something like this because he will always win over you <laughs> for example this is trading this is one of your businesses this is trading but for for this guy actually let's just uh, draw some guys this is 
oh, it's a really nice circuit about Microsoft. So let's see. Let's say this is one guy. Okay. Will we use different colors? Yes, we will. And this will be a red guy. Wait. Now we draw a red guy. So if you want to beat the red guy, beat him at the game of trading. This is trading. Let's. Um, where is text? Is actually the okay text. The first time using. So this is tra trading. Okay, capital T. This is a one of your businesses. Can I select text? No, I can't select it. How do I magic? No, I lost everything. Really? Nope. Oh, okay. We are not going to sell the text, probably. No problem. It's so this is trading, okay? This is one of those businesses trading. This is also trading. This is the problem. This is a red guy. This is his thing as well. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, this is also trading business. This whole yellow. Uh, what is it? Triangle, blah blah. No, it's not triangle. What is it? So basically, uh, you can never, you can never be a competition, even in competition to him, because he puts all this energy to trading. So what you need to do, you need to get rid of all these other three, uh, four businesses, and. Only then you can just start. You can start to make a difference, make a competition, and then grow and grow and grow. And if you work even harder, you will surpass surpass this guy. You will be better. And okay, the trading is actually not a very very good example because we are not necessarily competing. But uh, let's say it was not trading; it was like some restaurant on one corner and the other restaurant, red guy restaurant, in the second corner of the street. You know, you need to be this guy, growing, growing. Focusing on just one thing, improving everything about your restaurant. Uh, you need to, you know, from the logo, from the material in, inside, outside, interior. You know the furniture, the 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 employees, the cooks, the like every you actually you cannot even uh, think about what you can improve uh, right now. Like it's not on the radar, but it will come to you just because you are focusing, just because you are focusing on one thing. This is how the nature works. This is how the, everything in life works. Those ideas for improvement and those likely the things that really matter and are game changer they come later you don't see them at the beginning so basically that's why if you focus on more things you will actually never even come to understand and come to find out the most important things in business because they are not on the radar you pay. let's say you you see like uh, uh, one kilometer uh, in front of you or uh, in the radius and those real secrets to success are on the third kilometer or fourth, you know, a lot farther. 
a lot further from your current state it comes like in, it, sometimes even in a few years you know it's not just focus dependent also time like everything what you do right now you need to think about like you know you are even wasting years you can even waste years if you focus uh, on the wrong things so i hopefully uh, made this clear and i'm gonna go even uh like you know i'm gonna go dive deeper so let's show it in a different way let's say everybody everybody knows the probabilities the basic logic behind for example flipping a coin let's draw a coin wait do we have wait 3d shapes let's draw a coin we can make a coin nope okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is a coin let's go let's say like we are going to flip 100 times a coin so the theory is 50 percent should be heads and 50 percent tails more or less you know everything in nature goes or likes to go to the middle to the like mean range basically yeah, like it is like you know the truth is normally somewhere in the middle you know the everything in nature goes to some default state 50 percent in this case is basically the st statistics very rough it's not like 100 percent, but you know what i mean so if we flip it uh 100 times we already know we will have 50 more or less 50 percent of heads and 50 um 50 heads and 50 uh tails but let's say we uh, flip it just 20 times what happens we can still see no tails there because maybe those other uh, 50 tails are you know starting to show up so later in the in the flips you know because we are still it's very possible that we can maybe flip even 40 times and unless we flip 50 51 times or 50 50 times we don't really necessarily need to see any tails you know what if well, we flip the first 50 will be heads heads and then the other 50 one after another will be tails we just don't know which ones of them you know so this is the thing that's why also in trading you should always stick to your strategy because if you have for example you know the same if your win rate is like you know 60 percent you don't know which of those trades are gonna be in those 60 percent maybe you will have first you know 40 losers and then you will have 60 winners one after another you know you just never know uh the order the order okay so let's say uh let's make my point here so if we have if we don't know the order and we go and you have uh you have different businesses for example you have uh let's say you have because also this is the problem people who have more, uh, more especially who have more businesses they like to jump from one shiny object to the other also in trading and you know, strategies you try one strategy then it doesn't work you jump to another one and then this is the circle never ending circle you just continue jumping from one strategy to the other just before maybe just before your success because if you uh, gave for example uh, the chance of 100 uh, let's say days you know or 100 word 100 trades even some some people don't even really test with 100 trades per strategy so basically let's say you give it 100 uh trades and maybe you will be losing like the the first 40 but the the next 60 could have been successful this is like very the uh, theoretical because it's not really uh, uh that you know it will be more like more random but you know what i mean so let's say you are uh, uh you have 100 trades and so let's go straight to the point so it, well, let's take it like the fl uh, flipping of the coins let's take it like this is a business model so let's say you are successful if you flip 50 percent uh, the heads and to do it you know 
it's uh, you will get there probably uh a lot sooner than 50 flips out of 100 you know but you will go like, flip one two three four five and maybe like when you are at a you know uh, 60 flip you will uh, flip uh 50 heads 50 times head you know uh it does it will not take like uh 100 uh, flips you know <laughs> uh mostly and, but uh let's do it uh let's put this same logic and let's make it so this is this requires in the flipping business of coins and we want to achieve 50 percent it requires just you know 50 flips of heads or 50 heads and let's say the, the next big business model is just one percent win rate so basically uh, with the coins there's 50 percent win rate uh, with the head but let's imagine we have a business where there's just one percent win rate and it's actually very plausible and most businesses actually are, are Actually, any business is just pretty hard to, you know, you need to be better in the competition. You need to be, uh, become grow, you know, become a better person, grow as a individual. So you actually need to flip uh, 99 uh, times the, the heads, you know, you need to have 99 heads to be successful, to make it in this business model. Let's say it's a restaurant. Uh, so basically, you, you have all these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven energy points. Let's call it energy points. And you do it like, you know, now it's like, I don't know, 25. You have, and you are still waiting for this 1% because it can come, you just don't know when, you know. You can flip it, you can put, uh, bet this energy point, you know maybe even 50 times but you still didn't you still didn't get that one percent you didn't still still you have still not hit it you know because you don't just need 50 percent you need to find that one percent so you are hitting and most people what they do uh, that's why i call it energy points they just divide those energy points because as i mentioned you have just a limited amount of budget time per day energy uh, free time you know some you know there are some situations that you cannot control during the, those days years months months years so basically you understand what i mean most people they just go and they hit like you know they flipped inside that business they invested like 60 energy points and then they just they just decide like oh it doesn't work this business model doesn't work so i'll just go and let's say this other business is just two percent it's uh, a little bit better but you just actually never know but let's say you know like it's two percent um win rate or possibility to uh be successful and you go from the beginning this is the problem one two three and again you you waste your energy points on a different endeavor on a different idea and you just started from the beginning and this let's say this energy point it takes like two weeks you know one energy point or you can be even months you just don't know and you are wasting all these energy points to completely so you in instead of utilizing all these weeks months and years you are you have just thrown it to the trash and you went ahead and I actually you've thrown into the trash and maybe maybe the next one this one could have been the one percent you know what i mean that you have uh you have finally became pro profitable for example in trading or more than more than break even you know like finally seeing some build up in your business in your restaurant some nice uh, returns you know the big progress this could have been the 77th energy point you know but you instead what you did you instead went thrown this all to the trash and you went ahead and started to 
bid on this yellow business with your energy points and mostly of course what people do they just go and find some different shiny object different strategy in trading and they again start from the beginning one week two four weeks sixth week two months and again wasting all these years just to start this new business you know and this one percent this one percent is waiting maybe on the 79th you know position i don't know how to call it because it's just completely something i just made up but on the 79th ninth, ninth level it's waiting for you there but you just go one two three and you start you stop at 50 and then move again to another i i think you already got the idea some one percent possibility business and it's still it's just one percent uh, uh success rate in general for example in society so basically you need to hit it hit it hit many times to possibly hit that one hiding opportunity hiding uh level you know uh the breaking point you know i know this uh, if you just came to the video it can be uh, pretty messy and you have no idea what it means but that's why i say you need to uh, listen to every single sentence i say and try to understand uh, these topics because it's very important it's life-changing it can save you years guys especially especially younger guys girls this is something that can save you a lot of years and even you know completely change lives it's uh make it or break it you can start completely on the wrong path and continue 40 years and then you wake up like and think about what you have just done you know or you can just navigate like a sniper and and you know go through struggles of one business and you know and believe and have the faith that one day you'll solve it out you'll solve it out so basically the, that business needs to be that business needs to be uh, uh very according to your skills your hobbies your what you actually like to do so it needs you need to just find your thing that's the key it's basically the path you should follow needs to be studied uh, by you very extensively you need to know yourself and then you simply then you simply follow your specific path not somebody else not your friends but your path and you'll be like a laser and focus all your energy points all your energy to one single business and you will eventually you will you will get there so let's say this is the one percent success rate business let's say it's trading because trading is actually something like this 99 percent of people they just fail but you what you are going to do you will truly use all your energy points you need at least nine ninety nine energy point energy points focused to this business because it's just one percent win rate so you will use every single one of them you don't care you just you, it's now it's 20 uh, and it's still nothing you just continue you know there are gonna be some different businesses no this is the same some different businesses for example the red business but no you just go ahead and you will continue doing your homework in this one business and eventually what will happen 
and now finally we are moving to a different stage again in this video and i'm gonna show you um explain to you a little bit above all it's the same but in different ways of course it's not completely the same so basically uh you know when you throw to the water a stone for example your energy point is the same logic you throw a stone to water and it makes a wave you know it makes a wave it actually makes circle but it doesn't matter in this case it makes a wave and uh if you throw the stone somewhere else for example let's let's just clear this and have it all clean okay i'll go away so you throw a stone no not like this paint what okay this story stone you have a wave but it's just in the middle we'll say more or less then you throw another stone for example here you have another wave and here another one and basically what happens if you you are starting to have this called like the ripple effect you know and at the points of a cross basically you have constructive uh, you have constructive interference and that is uh, when you see when it hits some wall this is what's uh, most impacted by the energy there's the highest energy those constructive constructive interferences in between we have destructive interferences let me show you some wise google pictures and you can also see this is the highest energy uh, when you, where you see those crosses of the waves highest intensity we're showing lines of maximum intensity or uh, we can see it here with the ripple effect basically uh, the wave just continues if you keep if you keep hitting the stones on one place it's just, it's just like a repeater you know if you know something about computer networking and internet devices router switches repeater repeater basically just repeats the signal makes it so stronger so it's like a new circle new stone thrown to the same area and it just makes it stronger the signal continues because if it just one it just dissipates it just slowly becomes so you know weaker and weaker uh the signal or the energy so your business needs to be uh you know sustained repeated you want to continue throwing those stones to the same area to the same business the one business the one percent green business let's say trading okay uh because we are traders here i know it's super uh, easy to super readable everything here but actually you know this is um just for the advanced followers of my channel for you it makes sense guys you can see even through <laughs> uh, all these lines trading you know uh so you are focusing the energy again all your stones are causing a, a ripple effect constructive interference constructive interference guys on one point only and that becomes the flower of life i don't want to go too deep in this video but you know this is extremely esoteric esoteric thing uh known for thousands of years from all countries all around the world secrets of life see secrets of nature blah 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 uh it's actually talked about too much there's a lot of wannabe scientists wanna be you know deep stuff uh thinkers 
that abuse these materials but you know guys i need to remind you everything is created by god don't fall to some different false doctrines um you know that are that are serving just to confuse you demons are real as well you need god guys don't think oh, you are all powerful i just use these secrets no secrets of uh eastern knowledge and blah blah, blah. Uh, this is just a little warning guys god created you and uh, god rules still apply so even though you can think you can use all this secret knowledge you know power of mind blah 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 don't forget it god is the creator and he can do anything with the world anytime he wants and a rule that works now he can just uh in a second he can just make it so it doesn't work you know this is what i'm trying to say so don't fall into uh these uh, esoteric uh, beliefs okay we are uh, we need to get back to what we were talking about so focusing the energy on one point and also of course it's nothing new uh, a lot of great thinkers and philosophers and great achievers are saying the same uh even bruce lee let me show you his uh, one of his quotes i fear not the man who has practiced ten thousand kicks once but i fear the man who had practiced one kick ten thousand times so it's about focus everybody knows this everybody uh who has achieved something or really uh try to understand the nature of the world understands the the importance of focus and actually uh, in one of his other um quotes what was it yeah like it was like a warrior is just an average person with a laser light focus so again it's about focus oh and that was also by bruce lee by the way so can we mm, select everything and delete yes we almost can wait yes we can what so let's go a little bit further so uh, hopefully now we understand uh the importance of fo uh, doing one business focusing on one thing because it actually makes you grow exponentially quicker than the other opponent so if you focus everything on one place all your energy points uh you will make a lot more and quicker difference than the person who focuses one point here one here you know one here one here you know it's not exponential growth he's just waiting wasting time so hopefully you guys now understand if you focus on one thing you are creating a ripple effect constructive constructive interference uh so you throw a stone another one another one here on the same place you are supporting exponentially this area this is your business you go forward but if you throw if you threw a stone over here and another one over here and another one over here you are not really getting anywhere you know because this wave becomes weaker and weaker you know and then it just goes in, into nothing and you have achieved nothing but if you uh, throw the stones on one place you are exponentially it's actually exponential this is important to realize the growth is exponential it's not just one plus one plus one and three four it's exponential because you get to know areas of the business and meet people 
inside the business you would never you, you would have never met and you would have never known that information that comes to you and also uh, here we can go metaphysical as well and so let's let's just go a little bit further i don't go i don't want to go too deep into metaphysical stuff but you should understand like you will slowly uh, become a better person if you focus on one thing you will be a lot calmer person you will know your way that you are you will feel in your insides that you just go one nice direction it it will become more clear more simple more easy in, easier in your mind every day you just continue in one path it will become uh, easier and lighter and simpler and you will know more and more that you are doing the right thing and then you will suddenly because if you do something uh, repeatedly it's impossible to do it for example you do, do something one day the next day it's impossible to do it slower or, or worse the third day is uh, even better and four day fifth day it takes you like one half of the time it took you the first day you know so you become more efficient and then more paths open in efficiency in you know a new material that you study and you just become the expert you just you just conquer the business the whole business you know just by focusing on one thing and you this is the only way the only way how you can compete with people similar like this who are dedicating their whole time in one direction and what i want to say that basically when you are at this state you will be more grateful you will be you will be a better person than uh how it goes in life uh, like you know the metaphysical stuff god like god gives you more moments to be grateful for and then it's like a ripple effect again constructive interference you will have more life to be thankful for and then again exponentially more things to be thankful for and then just everything goes you know the correct way you will be a better person you know guys so that's very important you don't even know what door you are opening when you go this route this simple route of one focused stream you know this is very important and guys finally guys finally we are coming to the um uh, final point of this video and uh, what you need to realize and that is um what i already mentioned also before like the secret to success uh i already actually touched this idea touched upon this idea so basically you need simply it doesn't matter uh at which point uh in life you are uh for example i was doing this example of let's say you are cleaning toilets uh, and you want to be a millionaire so the right approach is not to be depressed and now thinking like oh it's so far from being a millionaire because you're just cleaning toilets but there actually this comes from a, a book i read when i was a child and i just really it was i just know it was some anonymous book uh, and i really just don't even know where i it was somewhere some i found it online but there was no author and yeah, it was actually uh, the title was the, something like the secret to uh, um, millions, so like the universe secret to millions or something like this, like the secret of the universe. But the point was that you need to outgrow your current uh, state. So if you are cleaning toilets, what you need to do that you will become a better cleaner every day you will start cleaning better you will start paying attention to details and you will become the best cleaner in, in your group and then in the whole <laughs> the whole area and basically you get my point you will the the success comes uh, automatically it just you will just start to attract for example you will become a manager manager of the uh, toilets cleaning system uh, service and then you will naturally move the up in the positions and then maybe if you want 
two you will maybe have a cleaning business in one city and then in more cities and then you know what i'm talking about basically there are no limits you can even create this but i'm not suggesting you should be doing this i'm just saying that you will grow as a person and then naturally the opportunities will come to you uh, you will also feel different you'll feel more powerful and you will have actually even more money that's for the start and naturally uh, gradually you will go where you really want to go and also i believe everybody has what they really 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 want uh, because that, that's where they put their energy so for example uh, everybody says they want to be millionaires but uh, they actually don't really want to be millionaires because they are spending too much time on social media, too much time on doing the wrong thing. They prefer to be lazy sometimes. They prefer uh, sometimes different things and not the things that would actually get them uh, to their goal, what they think they really, really want. So basically, uh, actually people don't really really want what they say they want and uh, this is actually very interesting it can for some people it can be uh, maybe not true but if you think about it look at also for example your office everything in your office how it's uh, you, you know how it's on the table for example what you have on the wall it's because you put it there you know you want it to put it there so this is something also in life you know if you won't, don't like somebody if you really really don't like somebody you just don't meet them but if you just try to find some find some excuses or you are afraid and blah blah you still meet them and then they are still in your life and it's actually your fault you know or you don't make some clear thing um, some things clear to them because you are afraid or i don't know whatever whatever basically in in life the success comes when you are strong and you just uh, strongly go after your uh, after what you want you know of course within limits you don't want to do some some bad stuff but you just need to go one direction what you really want and normally you uh, you will achieve it of course uh, you need to uh, put all the glory to god because everything you have every even thought every even like a great idea it comes from god don't ever forget that god wants you to put him on the first place and he wants you to realize that you have everything from him and you, and he wants you to be humble and then uh, comes what you actually see so many times in movies blah blah Oh, that you you people like to abuse this word recently but it's blessed you know god blesses you if you do the correct thing you will be blessed without uh, you know opportunities good life so uh where i wanted to go with this example of like cleaning toilets and you need to just follow and outgrow your place this means that uh once you will outgrow that place and you get to a by focusing on one thing you will get in progress in one business this is the time when you once you are financially secure once you feel good uh, safe this is the moment where you can start diversify so diversification has its place and in this case it actually can even work better than if you don't do that you know so basically uh, the reason is because why uh, w while you were uh, still focusing on one thing and you could have just developed one thing it was very important to establish yourself now once you establish yourself you can uh, actually diversify to different little or even bigger things because you don't care anymore and this is the secret guys listen to me carefully uh, it can be also something again metaphysical but uh, what i found out and i like you know i don't say like this is completely 100 i don't know true but what i believe is uh, from my experiences it's something like this like you always uh, get things 
either if you really really uh, are completely sure that you will get it like for example you want to open a door and you know like when you touch uh, it's like you are at the at the door you know which and you know like it's just very easy for you in one second you can uh, touch it open it and the door is open so you achieve things either if you are completely sure that you can do it like there is like no doubt because you know it's just a second away from you like the door example or you get things in your life that you don't really care about you just don't care about it but you still still want it so you don't care about it but you still want it and this second case uh, you can get things by this second case only once you uh, don't care about it obviously and you you need to be in this stage state already and to get to this stage you first need to go to this uh, stage by the first option so doing something that you basically uh, know that you will get there and the assurance the surety comes from focusing on that thing so much focusing on one thing so much that you just subconsciously believe that it's impossible uh, to not progress you will get to a point where it's almost impossible for you to see a failure because you know you're just going a straight line you just go uh, and you improve every day and you start to slowly see that you are better than your competition because they just diverge they just diversify and you are exponentially getting ahead you will feel it every day more and more you just you will just leave them behind and that's when you will be approaching the the this the first option how you how to get what you want by you will just be sure you know you you will know like you know already know this feeling actually maybe for seeing, sometimes throughout your life you have done something so many times that you basically became a master of that thing so this is the, you need to get to this feeling with your business you just continue until you get it and you will be more confident every time you do it every time you do some routine as i mentioned you it's impossible not to improve if you repeat one thing as a also another famous quote uh if you can measure it you can improve it this is also something that i really believe is true so it's good to measure stuff and yeah, actually i even write it this is important if or no write text go if you turn if you can measure it you can improve it this is very important and it's true guys so just go measure your success but not like every day this is also actually important you should not be you should be measured maybe week by weekly you know uh, because also we can go to the metaphysical stuff quantum physics you don't want to observe the you don't want to be observer who changes the reality like this uh, double slit experiment you just want to go naturally without fear just continuing because you know that, that it's impossible not to improve if you go one way it's impossible not to improve now let me just finalize all these things the whole video that you can have, actually now understand how i do stuff i really focus on one strategy that just developed over the years of my experience uh, trading crypto stocks binary options forex futures everything programming different indicators and bots in many different platforms so basically all my experience together led to led me to create uh, great strategies not only for binary options but also you can actually see i use more or less the, you know the same vip rules you know
uh, in forex the same i have one strategy in for forex and uh, also my indicator for forex is just really you know it's focusing on i'm a breakout trader mostly just breakouts at the right moments and i just found the right situations where it's uh most efficient so uh everything i do is really focused because i understand these ideas of course it was not always like this but i uh i made sure and every time I, of course i still i'm i'm not perfect and i try to always self reflect and you know to uh, learn new stuff and improve every day you know always think about what i did wrong if i did something wrong if i did it correctly or not you know get back in the thoughts and what else guys so basically this is the point as um, i mentioned once you establish yourself you are focusing on one thing and you achieve that you are for example for example a profitable trader now and now you can start investing you know in crypto and you don't care about it and that's why you will actually even earn money with the crypto you know this is the funny thing like once you don't care about the the other businesses they just start to grow yeah for example your investments you know so for example this is crypto boom you don't because you already did this one you focused one thing created one the good business stable you have everything you need you know your rent my food a uh, nice maybe even luxury lifestyle and now you started to put money to crypto to you know stocks maybe this one for example real estate and they just go up and you don't even you just wonder like wow this is so easy but they go up because you don't need them like when you uh, like you know like when you are in need you just the things just go away from you you know when you are begging you know when you want really when you don't have a, a good credit score we just really need money you go to the bank they don't like to give money to broke people but once you have money you know they even give you money and for your investments for crypto or you know once you uh, have established one thing that you were focusing on so much then everything is just pure gold everything works you are happy then you go to the bank they will happily give you money then you go to real estate you they will happily sell you some real estate and they go go they all go and grow even more and it's like a lot easier so that's why they also say the hardest is the first million dollars and then it just it just multiplies you know so hopefully guys this video was was not so long and hopefully you just stay focused stayed focused and actually uh understood between the lines what i was trying to say uh, i did it a little bit on purpose to make it uh like a puzzle those i didn't really change the colors here it's all just one big mesh and mess but uh guys this is a training for your focus as well so thanks for watching guys any questions any anything that comes to your mind uh let me know in the comments and of course i want to know if you correctly guessed this next fourth uh secret to one million did you know that it was gonna be about focus and so i don't know i don't know which uh, uh or when i'm gonna uh do the other video on the fifth secret to million dollars but it doesn't matter uh so far this is enough thanks for watching again and have a great day